Hello everyone, welcome to another quick tutorial on using the Michigan Data Hub. In today's quick session, what I'm going to walk you through is how to create a one roster API integration. Simple process, it just is a matter of making sure that the product that you're using supports one roster. Uh, there's uh, different tools that support one roster, uh, some vendors, uh, Discovery Education, you think of McGraw-Hill Connected, uh, Pearson Ames Web, uh, and, and other vendors like that. Out on our website, we have under the product catalog, if you go to a keyword search for one roster, what you'll see is one roster will pull up. And there's some information in here, uh, limited information, but uh, one of the key pieces is if you click this link, and you, it's going to direct you right directly to the IMS Global site which contains a list of all of their products that are one roster certified. So knowing that, um, let's dive into how you create this one roster API integration. So what we'll do first is create an API integration. Uh, to do that, you just click the add integration link. We're going to create this one for, let's say, uh, uh, McGraw-Hill Connect Ed. So what we'll do is from the system type, what we will do is select learning management system. And again, the system type is going to be the type of product that the tool that the tool is. So we're going to select from the vendor. We're going to select McGraw Hill. The system is going to be, we'll do uh, connect ed, but you see there's other options available too. Uh, for the profile, what we're going to do is select none. And then the key piece here that is different than just creating a standard API integration is that you want to do this checkbox. You want to enable that, which is the permit access to one roster API. When checked, what that's going to provide is uh, one roster authorization URL, one roster API endpoint URL. So some key pieces that you're familiar with. The key and another, another key point here is to ensure that you select that include student demographics info if you want to pass that information off. You will actually have to select um, in this anonymized database, I only have one year of data loaded, but uh, from this pull down menu, you'll want to select the current year or the year of student demographics you want to publish over. So um, by default, 1920 is there because that's the only school year that I have populated and it's the current school year in the Data Hub cockpit. So once you have this information selected, you'll click Submit and it will process here for a second. It's generating the API right now. And once this uh, flips back to the Data Hub cockpit screen, what we'll do is log back in and uh, show you the information that you need to pass off to this vendor. So as you can see here now under the API integrations, we actually have our learning management system connect ed. We have that API created. So when I select that, as with other APIs, what will be generated is a key and secret. So we'll test this key and secret just to make sure it works. Yep, uh, testing is valid. So what we'll do is from this point, what you would have to do is take the key and secret, share that with the vendor, which in this case would be McGraw-Hill. And they'll also need this one roster authorization URL and API endpoint URL. So um, if you have any questions on this process, let us know. Send an email to support at midatahub.org. Hopefully this helps. Have a great day.